Seton Hall Jr. For starters, he's 23 years old. He also happens to be from the land down under. Melbourne, Australia is 10,000 miles away from the friendly confines of Walsh Hall in South Orange. That's a 20-hour trip by plane. If you're planning on telephoning Melbourne, it's 14 hours ahead. No, Pirate coach P.J. Carlissimo isn't making recruiting trips to exotic Australia. He first cast an eye on Gaze when Australia's national team played Seton Hall in 86. Well, he scored 46 against us three years ago. You know, you, you wouldn't have been too smart to, to notice that, that he could have helped us. And uh, outside shooting has been a problem for us. When we first got involved, we thought he was a great scorer. That was very obvious, and we knew his reputation. But he's a much better all-around player. You know, I come over here with somewhat of a reputation internationally as a scorer. And, you know, only coming over here for a year. And before I got here, I thought maybe some guys may take offense to that and see me as coming in and trying to come into their territory and take away something which they have earned and which they deserve in, as far as the team is concerned but there has been none of that whatsoever there's been absolutely no ego problems and everyone has got along you know perfectly well, it caps down to gaze. basketball has always played a major role in andrew's life his father lindsay is the coach of the australian national team and the Gaze family home was attached to the national team's gymnasium. Right from birth, I was living in um, a house which was which had a sort of backyard, a nine-court basketball facility. We played some one-on-one -on -one in the backyard or here in the stadium uh, after school and so forth, but not what you call a significant coaching influence. It was just playing, having a game together, father and son having fun together. Andrew played for his father on the Australian national team in the 1984 and 88 Olympics as well as for a local club team in Melbourne. In that city, he's the favorite son, and the local media monitors his every move. Andrew still doesn't really know what's happening. It's all happening so fast. The darling of fans around the country, the obligatory big buck offers from the U.S. are pouring in. In Australia right now, we have a very high standard of competition. At the Seoul Olympics, we finished fourth behind the... Um, the Americans who finished third, we played off for a bronze medal with them. Then um, I think you can get a better idea of the level of competition we're at. Gaze has fit in beautifully with the Seton Hall Pirate offense. He's averaging 12 points a game. There are nights when the Pirates don't need him to score and he doesn't seem to mind. Other nights, it's bombs away for Gaze from three-point land. The decision to leave Australia to attend Seton Hall is one that Gaze does not regret. However, away from the court, there are many cultural differences. Like Paul Hogan, Australia's most famous citizen, Gay says getting used to the metropolitan area takes time. There's such a massive population living virtually, and people are living on top of each other over here. Whereas back home, I think things are much more spread out. And I guess when people are living on top of each other like they are here, everyone, it seems that everyone's like fighting for their, their little piece of existence.